Yeah, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Roger Robles, and I'm from Fontana, California. And yeah, I'm, uh, I've been driving for about like 10 years, I want to say. Okay. Uh, and then, um, well, I got into it because of my dad. He's always he's always been a truck driver since I remember. And I would go with him when I was small, out of state. And when I uh, turned 21, well, I got my Class A license and been driving since. <laughs> Yeah. So, so was it you got into driving because of your dad or? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, I tried school, but I never really liked school. So my dad's like, well, if you're not gonna do anything, we'll just take out your class. And honestly, I always liked trucks. I, I don't mind the drive and all that. I like it. I like what I do. Yeah. And what what does your hour look like? My what? Your, the hours, the work schedule look like? Oh, uh, it's crazy. You don't really have a steady schedule in the trucking business. You, you know, you work day, night, uh, hardly sleep. Yeah, it's crazy. You don't really have like a steady, steady schedule. So I noticed you have a family. Uh -huh. So how does um, how do you coordinate your schedule and time to spend with your family? Well, like for example, right now um, I work throughout the day. I get home, shower, eat, and I spend you know I don't know like two, three hours with my family, and I go to sleep. Next morning I have to wake up and go to work again because right now I'm doing local okay local work so that's what I do sometimes when I'm you know go far like up north California um, I don't know I'm, I'm probably at the house like two days it depends okay yeah. so when you say local does that how far do you go out uh, local is like around like LA Los Angeles uh, Fontana San Bernardino all, all right here what's like SoCal pretty much okay yeah so what do you love about trucking? Uh, I mean, like I said, I've, since I was a kid, I've always liked trucks. Cause it's, o it was o it's always been like involved in my family. My grandpa drove, he used to drive, my uncles drive, cousins drive. So I've always liked, like, I don't know, like, how can I say? Um, I, I, I like like the culture of trucking. I, I like, I don't know, I've always liked it. And now, like I said, I like, driving on like an open road or you know except the traffic traffic gets a little hefty sometimes but other than that I like it yeah. so what is it that um, people also want to know the negative side so what is it that you don't like about there's a lot of negative right now okay <laughs> I mean the industry it's gone really bad now it's like really really bad I remember when um, it used to be a well-paying job and you know everybody wanted to be a trucker because you know truckers would get good money. Now um, it's just been downhill from. Uh, it's just been bad. You know the rates on the loads are really bad. Um, there's there's work. It's just not well paying. Okay. Like for example, they want to pay uh, from here from here to Stockton. They want to pay twelve hundred dollars. How much these are you gonna waste to drive over there? You're okay. gonna waste like from six hundred to seven hundred dollars for two days of being out of your house. What is that gonna get you? Like what six hundred dollars, five hundred dollars for two days? And then diesel's going up. It's just really bad right now, honestly. That those are the downsides that right now it unfortunately the, the trucking business it's bad right now. Right now like yeah. So what do you think needs to change? The loads gotta get better pay. We gotta get better pay because, like I've always said, I, for me, for my opinion, I think being a truck driver, it's right now we're getting underpaid a lot because it's a big responsibility to be a truck driver. You know, we're driving out on the street, we're delivering goods. Um, you know, food it could be clothes. You know, truck drivers move pretty much everything on the trailers. So that being said, if you know the brokers or people giving out the loads would pay better and with lower cost of fuel, you know, everybody would be happy because I know a lot of people that right now they've sold their trucks and they can't afford it anymore. It's everything's so expensive and like I said the work they're not paying enough okay. to keep up with the business. I see. So what would you say to New, dri new drivers or somebody who's looking to become a truck driver right now? Um, well, I mean, because I, I know a lot of, a lot of my friends that are trying, to, are trying to get the Class A. 
I mean, it, honestly, I don't regret it. I like what I do. I enjoy it. It's just that um, if you go if you go and drive for a big company right now, I'm not sure what's to pay on that or whatever. But I'm just saying, like, for being an owner operator right now, it's really hard. Like, like I said, a lot of people are selling their trucks and they can't afford it. But I mean, if they want to get into trucking right now, right now, the best thing I would say is just go as drivers for like a big company. Yeah, because. If you buy your own truck right now, you have to pay insurance, you have to pay fuel. If your tire pops, you have to pay it out of your market. It's like a small business. So you have to keep up with your small business, you know, to pay your bills or whatever. But if they're not paying enough, you still got to pay insurance every month. You still got to pay your home bills, your rent. So it's, it's hard right now. So whoever wants to get their class here right now and start driving, I would consider him to just drive for a company as a driver. That's amazing. Yeah. Now, since you own your own truck, what kind of pay, what kind of improvement would make you happy? I mean, like I said, just them paying more. Like, what What do you mean by more? Um, I don't know. I would say, like, a day, an owner, owner-operator, a day minimum, even if you go, um, bar or close bar or whatever minimum you have to at least get paid more than a thousand dollars a day okay more than a thousand for sure and that's still like kind of like uh you get so me? is that it's just to cover your cost and yeah. making a little profit yeah. so how much money would you make if you were to be paid a thousand dollar a day well i mean it would be um well, right now like i said like we don't really have a steady schedule we're, you know we could work uh, three days out of the week and then stop for two days or we could work three days in the week and then work Saturday and Sunday. It just, it varies a lot. But I mean, for right now, what I'm doing is just Monday to Friday, so I would get paid $5,000 a week. If it would be five uh, a thousand per day, but with those 5,000 a week, you have to minus the fuel that you waste. Okay. So that all depends too, because sometimes a day you could waste more fuel than the other day. You know, you could waste more fuel on a Monday, or you could waste more fuel on a Tuesday. It just varies, honestly. Yeah. But it's just stuff like that. You never know when you go out of work. Anything could just go bad on your truck, and then what do you have to do? You have to fix it, or else you can't work anymore. <laughs>